Well, Nathan Wolf to me is is the, the the best way to express musical ideas in a group format. It's like uh, it's like a comfortable environment where you can uh, create and perform and do pretty much anything you like within certain perimeters, you know, but they're very, very open perimeters. So you can, you know, there's a lot of freedom there and there's a lot of uh, uh, friendliness, you know, like everybody works well together. And as long as it works well together, then the music that comes out, I, I find, is very interesting. And it's, and it's fun to, to uh, present that to people in a finished product, you know, like a record. I enjoyed the first formation. It was really like the way the band started, you know. And it took a long time to put that band together. And I think we did a lot of sifting of musicians, you know, uh, before we actually found a combination that worked well enough to stick together for a couple of years, you know. And that's a feat in itself, because bands don't stay together for very long. I mean, you know, just have to look at the long list of bands and different formations and members leaving. Blah, blah, blah. But uh, anyway, as far as this band's concerned, uh, I always I always wanted to keep the name going and the musical ideas going because I felt that it, the, the the basic idea and the basic premise of Nathan Mall was a good one, and I thought it, it, it that it worked well enough to keep that idea going. Because sooner or later, you'd get an ideal formation of the band. Then you think but this has been achieved? Definitely. 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 Of course, time will tell. But time will tell. But yeah. I think, I think it, as far as my personal taste and my personal goals are concerned, I find that this recent, the, the current formation of Nathan Mall is the best one for to achieve what I and what we originally set out to achieve, I thought that we're in a much better position to do that now. Uh, it, it's a lot more refined now. I find that it shows in the music also that uh, it still it still has the same level of freedom, but the way in which we utilize that freedom is a little bit more selective. So the compositions I find are more refined. Uh, and that's only stuff that comes about with experience. You know. The more you compose, the better you get at it, and so on. You go to the grocery store, and uh, they got a whole bunch of food there, right? But you can only buy the food that they have there. If if you have a taste for kumquats, come what? Kumquats. <laughs> it's it's a Chinese uh, fruit. Wait, the roasted kumquats. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a taste for kumquats, and the gro none of the grocery stores have kumquats, well then you're not going to buy kumquats. Right? You're not going to be able to buy kumquats. No, you'll you're going to buy uh, passion fruit, or you're going to buy exactly. apples or oranges or whatever. So that's what's wrong with the music business. The music business gives you things that they figure they can sell. It's a business. That's the, mm -hmm. the bottom line is that it's a business. And they are not interested in any esoteric pursuit whatsoever. All they're interested in doing is giving you what they figure you will buy. Mm -hmm. So it's always the same. They just recycle stuff, you know? So uh, any, any hope for new ideas always have and always will come through the strenuous efforts of individuals who seek to go beyond apples and oranges towards compliance. Qu'est-ce que je pense de la musique à Guy? La musique à Guy est très bonne. Euh, euh, je recouvre plusieurs styles musicaux, euh, un peu. J'aime beaucoup l'élément Renaissance dans euh, les chansons de Guy et l'élément rock, euh, ça, ça a être metal, un élément rock qui se tient, puis l'élément jazz, un peu, un peu de jazz rock. C'est une bonne combinaison, un bon cocktail, je vous dis. Molotov. Digne euh, des plus grands euh, compositeurs euh, de ce genre de musique. <rire> je suis émue. Je ne peux rien, je dis normal, c'est pas cadet. <rire>
Ben oui, c'est vrai. T'as l'air relativement normal. T'as jamais l'air normal. I, I like playing with musicians, and uh, that's a good question, but uh, it's just that we, when we were younger, we used to practice like five days a week and stuff like that, or if we had jobs, we used to practice like two nights in the week and, uh, you know, the whole weekend or something, and now it seems that as we grow older, we have so many responsibilities that we only practice once a week, you know, like a five-hour uh, session. I guess with two bands, it gives me two practices a week. So going back to the beginning of having uh, to exchange the musical vibes you feel, interacting with other musicians is uh, very important to me. So if I would have a band that would practice three times a week, I don't think I'd be in two bands. Also, the musical information from playing with different players is very interesting.